on the 27 acceptances to Ivy League schools. I'm going to go check, but I believe there's been a similar number of students arrested at the high school during the course of this year. I'll see which is more, the Ivy League acceptances or the arrests. Mm -hmm. How insulting could you be? I can be very insulting you to you, Mr. Organishak, at any time. Absolutely. Don't worry. But uh, if you let me finish, I'll continue. No, I wouldn't, but go ahead anyway. Well, you have something you want to say? Go ahead. Mm -mm. No, I have nothing. Nothing. I consider the source. That's why you go on. Well, I'm, I'm sure that that's a dazzling comeback sitting back in your office in City Hall, but out here in the reality land where people are getting a good look at your record. I, I just have to say that I think it's a shame, and we'll give you extra Can time. Can I finish or? No, I, I just think it's a shame well, what, I mean, I don't get and it. a travesty that we are celebrating the high achievement of our students who have worked well, so down, hard, okay. and that you want to correlate that with how many students have been arrested. I mean, I, I just, I don't have a problem with you yeah. bringing up that issue, but to, to put one against the other. Our students work so hard to achieve those acceptances in all of the colleges. Mm -hmm. And for anyone to come in here and try and correlate that with arrest, I think is really despicable. Mm -hmm. I respect your opinion. I respect your right to come here and speak. And I'd like to, for you to say more about the arrests. I don't have a problem with that. But do not tarnish the, the hard work of those students. I'm sorry. I think. Mm -hmm. Now you may return. Thank you. So you respect my right to speak, but you interrupt me and prevent me from speaking? Well, where do I stand on the clock now? Because can I start over again? Because this is about the Not fourth time in a row that I've been interrupted joke. when I'm speaking up here. No. Okay, you've interrupted me, no. you've interrupted me, no, no. and now you've Wait, interrupted me. Excuse me, Mr. Cox. You're done. This is our meeting. We set the ground rules. Yeah, and you don't apply them equally. Yes, we do, Mr. Cox. No, you don't. Mr. Cox, if you want to get into an argument, now is not There's no time. argument. It's a fact. And we could end the time right now. You, so you're not a... How are you going to propose to end the time? I can stop your clock. We gave you five minutes. We don't have to give you five minutes. No, you have to give me the same time you give everybody else. That's the law. You should know that because you're a lawyer. Okay? I don't care what rules okay. you make for public comment, period, but when you make rules, you apply them equally. You should stop the clock because we are courteous to you, Mr. Cox. But, you, but it, we do not. We is it not a fact that the last three times I get up to speak, I've been interrupted by you, by you, and by you? at the last three meetings. Is that not the case? I would like to just speak without interruption like other people. Go ahead. Okay. No, I, I think that this is sufficient, and I hope that maybe it'll be on the TV so people can see, because I will put together clips of the past interruptions with this interruption, okay? It's very convenient that you don't want to hear that. But you know what? I think that it is a valid comparison, because you know what I get tired of in this district? I get tired of people Success. going around cheerleading for the district and ignoring the problems. That's my concern. I have nothing against any students who graduate from the high school. My kids went through New Rochelle High School, okay? They graduated there. I'm proud of that fact. I don't belittle the students who graduated. What I'm concerned is the willful ignoring of the problems that exist in the school district. And the fact of the matter is that there have been a significant number of arrests at the high school this year. And I think that the board is not being informed of that. Now, you just had two students that were indicted by a grand jury just a few days ago in White Plains for attempted armed robbery. But there's no discussion of that. There's no discussion of the crime. Let me tell you something. You want to talk about caring about the kids. My son was assaulted at the high school. Okay? I have a direct concern about the violence at the school. Okay? And I think that I should be entitled to say what I want to say, and I don't need commentary from the peanut gallery or this board. Okay, for you to grandstand and get applause from, who are you getting applause from here? The district administration? Congratulations, it's quite an audience. Put your pants. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cox.